You know, they say some of the best moments in life are unscripted, and that's what this video is all about today. I just returned from Cuba, and I had a wonderful time. I spent a week in Havana. I stayed at a hotel called Residencia Santa Clara. I noticed a little ways down from the hotel that there was a door. When it was open, I could hear the sound of equipment and machinery in there. I inquired to the hotel what that was all about. They gave me an opportunity to meet the man that is responsible for running that operation. And Alexi showed me around his workshop. I had the inspiration to create a special trophy, really an heirloom. This video is all about the inspiration behind that heirloom and what it looked like in final stages. Hello friends, I'm Duncan. I'm a traveler and explorer and I love to tell the stories of my experiences. So I should mention that I traveled to Cuba with a good friend of mine, and he and I, along with about 20 other colleagues, are part of a group of folks that we went to college together, and uh, we get together fairly often, and we have a great time together. We business meetings, we support one another, and we support other classmates that are in need. And this group of gentlemen will come back in a minute as playing an important part of this story. We arranged on the final day of, that I was there to be able to go in and take some photographs and some video of him working in the workshop and using some of the equipment. Alexi was extremely proud to be able to do this and to show me all the equipment that he had. And he really had quite an array of equipment, different types of things, table saws, grinding, cutting, a lot of hand tools, and also a lot of materials in there, so old wood that had been saved up from previous projects or buildings that were torn down, that type of thing. Alexei was very open to show us everything that he had in there and how it worked. And in the process of that, he demonstrated a lot of the different equipment as he was working on various projects in support of repair and maintenance for the hotel or for other projects that he might have been working on. Then something interesting happened. He turned to the lathe and he wanted to show us how that worked and he took a piece of old cedar scrap wood, marked it on the ends to center the piece of wood. He then clamped it into the lathe and then began cutting and turning this piece of cedar. And as he did that, this beautiful design started to emerge. He showed us how using calipers and using different cutting tools where he could actually create a pattern uh, in this old piece of cedar that he was creating. It was at this point that a spontaneous idea came to mind that this beautiful piece of cedar shouldn't go to waste. And it started looking like a a relic or a trophy or something. And I mentioned previously about the group of guys that I'm involved with, and we thought about using this to create some type of trophy that could be passed down from year to year with, within our group. So we stopped Alexei for a minute and we kind of talked to him about this idea and this concept that this piece of cedar that he was working on could then become part of a beautiful trophy that we could then take back uh, to the United States and pass on within our group. And Alexi absolutely loved the idea, the, the piece of cedar, even though it was beautiful, it would just go to scrap. So he then finished the spindle and then began working on the base and he picked up a piece of wood known as Akai wood and began intricately carving um, a base that the spindle could then go on top. And within just a very short time, Alexi really expertly crafted curves and angles in the base. And like that, within a relatively short time, this beautiful piece of cedar and this akai wood that was used at the base came together to form really the foundation 
of this new award that we will use within our group. After discussion a little bit later about this fantastic award, we decided to call this award the Globetrotter Award. So within our group, after a lot of discussion of thinking of the exploits and adventures that each of the members of our group had taken, there was an executive decision made that it should be given to one specific individual that had a wonderful family trip down to Easter Island on the tip of South America. And it was really quite a trip. He provided us with several photos and video from that. I'll show you some of that video now so that you can see kind of what that looked like. But it was really an epic trip. The annual Globetrotter Award is not for the faint-hearted. It's for the one individual in our group who has lived the most thrilling, pulse-pounding, exhilarating adventure over the past year. So here it stands, a symbol of the indomitable spirit of travel, the unbreakable bonds of friendship, and the relentless pursuit of the unknown. The Globetrotter Award isn't just an honor, it's a celebration of life's grand adventure. And I think that this award is a fitting way to go, and it really had a lot of meaning coming from this unscripted moment that we had on the ground in Old Havana to the final stage of this trophy and really this heirloom relic that can be passed down from year to year. So I hope you're liking this content that I'm bringing you from my trip to wonderful Cuba and all the great experiences that I had there. I would also like to thank everybody that has watched and commented and subscribed to my channel. I've just hit a milestone. I've just hit 8,500 subscribers. And it's really been a wonderful journey, really intensively over these past two years to produce these videos and to go on these trips. And I'll be doing a video about that experience and that milestone at a later date. But let me just say thank you so much for all of you that have contributed. I'm really looking forward to what the future holds and what comments that you might have about the direction that we can go in together. So please let me know if you've been to Cuba, if you've had any of those experiences. I'd love to hear from you. So I hope you're liking this series on Cuba. I've still got several more videos to go and looking forward to that. My next video will be about my visit to the Hotel Nacional de Cuba, which was a very famous hotel, which was frequented in the 1930s by a lot of mob members and celebrities. So stay tuned. I'd love to hear from you. More to come. In an age where speed and disposability often overshadow craftsmanship, Alexei's work serves as a poignant reminder of the virtues of patience and skill. His artistry and knowledge underscores the importance of preserving cultural heritage, a testament to the timeless beauty of the human touch and devotion.